hello guys welcome to another tutorial uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, how to make a double d shape addition usually this double d shape addition using in the fuel storage tanks road tankers okay just like like this this is a double d shape dish and like this all right guys so let's start So this is the double D shape dish and sketch. So we have to follow these dimensions. So let's start. So width we have 2.3 meter and height we have 1.6 meter. So this center line is not in the middle of the this dish end. So you can see I have make offset from the bottom in the center line 700 and above we have 900 and the depth we have 70 mil and the straight flange we have 25. You can adjust as per your requirement but I have adjusted at 70 mil. Okay. Let's start. Open new part. Sketch on front plane. Take a midpoint of the center line and uh, make the coincident with origin. Vertical line, we will not make the uh, co coincidence with origin. We, we will just make uh, this line with origin coincidence, not the point. That's so width, so height, and offset from bottom we have seventy, seventy, seven hundred mil. Now we need to draw two circle. Pick any point of from here. And select this end point. The same here, pick any point, do coincidence here. Let's trim, trim, make them equal. The radius we have here 2.1 meter here. The same here we do make equal. Let's trim, 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 and delete this. Also trim this. This is the make it 
considering make them equal okay now we have to make all corners 600 mm radius Okay, our sketch is fully defined. The reason why I keep here the 700 and above we have 900 because of the center of gravity. The maximum area we keep below is safer. If I make it like 600, you will see the difference. The upper area will be lower than the bottom one. this is going bigger and this is going small let's say if i make 100 now it looks like more equal i keep 700 here we need middle points here some points here Our sketch look like this. Let's save the file. So now we have to make the depth seventy mm and twenty five mm. offset the plane first we make 70 or 25 mm offset this side okay select this sketch and convert entity as this is our straight flange right We need those points. Okay. Now we need again offset. Uh, need 25 mm offset or 20 mm uh, for this small radius here. It's knuckle radius. We can say select the front plane. Plane now 50 mm. Flip offset. So oh, you can see the it's a front plane, 25 mm offset plane, 25 mm offset plane. Okay, I will tell you why we need this one. We don't need right now, but we need it uh, after one more sketch. This one. Now we will take the final sketch at 70 mm here, as we have a depth here. Sketch, select front plane, sketch, make it 70, 70 or 100, whatever you require.
I'm going to just hide this select uh, this uh, plane and hide this plane as well. Now we draw a small uh, rectangular here with the same ratio of this. We can draw any shape here like circle, rectangular, it's up to you. I keep the dimension at uh, the 10 scale, 2, 3, double zero, divided 10. One double one six double zero and divided <coughs> ten and the radius six hundred divided ten sixty. It's just approximately we again need some points here. Uh, this is Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, <coughs> here, here. There is all our reference points to draw our guide lines. Okay, so we hide this plane here. So we have right now three sketches here, but now we need some guidelines here. So we go to the 3D sketch, lion, start from here, this point, pick this point, one second. We need one more. We have draw one sketch here, right? Now, <clears throat> this one. I'm going to delete this 3D sketch. We need the 3D sketch after this sketch. This is our reference sketch only. Sketch like this convert entity make it for construction we need here as well points Convert. Yeah, I think we have all points right now. Now we start 3D sketch. This is our guidelines only. Like this point, this point, this point. If you make more uh, guidelines, it will give you more accurate result.
Oh, and this is long. Yeah, no, that's correct. Okay, I think we have finished our all guided lines here. Uh, make sure sketch is fully defined. Uh, it's under defined. Here we go. Yeah, fully defined. Now we filled this all point, uh, this corner here like 25 uh, yeah it's it's better <clears throat> it's all depend on you how you make uh, what uh, depth or uh, the length or the width you want to make okay But you know the row tanker is, is maximum 2.4 meter wide only, right? So don't go outside of 2.4 meter, maximum 2.4 meter. And keep height as much as you can low due to the center of gravity, right? Okay, so let's see. We have all radiuses here. yeah okay so in this exercise to make the d shape uh, d shape the sketch is very important so now we go to the surface loft surface select our main sketch then another sketch for a straight flange now uh, this is the end here sometime uh, this arrow is showing here this point showing here somewhere so we have to keep in the line here we have to drag here no so this is accepting here but we still keep here so just hit ok and see what the result uh, we got without the guidelines so we got the result guide without guidelines something like that see this all as area is gone inside bulge so we need the guidelines to make a proper let's edit this here we have select one okay another okay so we have to select the all guidelines here to make it the perfect D shape As you can see, it's making a shape.
Okay, let's see, hit OK and see what the result uh, we got without two these guided curves, okay? So, actually we cannot notice this one uh, without the thickness. Okay. So now our surface is ready. Now we have to fill this gap here with filled surface. Just use this command here and hit OK. You can see here we have the two surfaces here, one this one and the one this one. We have to make it the one surface here. Knit surface, use knit surface. So, one surface. We can also see the flat pattern here, uh, flatten surface of this for the just uh, to give you idea. Here you go. So, this will be our flatten surface. We don't need that one right now. Now, just give the thickness. Yeah. 6 mm. Uh, here you go, our double D shape descent ready. So that's uh, so with this exercise, you can make the D shape descent here. Just give the material and check the weight it's correct okay guys thank you very much please subscribe my channel thank you